Update one on Cyclone Dineo, which has formed in the Mozambique Channel at 3 p.m. UTC, February 13th. It's got winds of 45 miles an hour and a pressure of 994 millibars. It's at 21.6 degrees south, 39.7 degrees east, uh, which puts it very close to Europa Island uh, in the Mozambique Channel and is likely to move towards the west or west-southwest towards Mozambique itself where it could make landfall as a significant cyclone. That's the forecast there with the, for uh, with the um, intensity forecast at the bottom, taking it a cyclone category one hurricane intensity and then into land and weakening uh, rapidly after that. Uh, one or two models hinting that the storm could be even stronger than that, but that's what we have it at at the moment. Six miles south-southeast of Batista, India, 64 miles northwest of Europa Island and 283 miles east of Vilanculo. No warnings in effect yet, but we expect that may change later. It's a stage two on the CDPS, the Cyclone Destruction Potential Scale, and it's a newly formed system, of course. Uh, no severe damages are to be expected yet. But let's take a look at the effects, what we're going to expect in the next few days. This is pretty much based off the official Meteo France forecast, um, but just bear in mind that the storm could possibly be a little bit stronger than this, um, so we will be watching it very closely to see what the storm actually does. But that's the general gist of where we expect the storm will go into Mozambique, north of Maputo, the capital, and then into, um, probably into South Africa actually, uh, where it will dissipate. No warnings in effect as mentioned, sea surface temperatures are very warm, around 29, maybe even 30 Celsius where the storm is right now. Uh, as it moves towards the southwest it might drop off just a slight little bit. Um, wind shear as you can see is quite high and increasing especially to the northeast but to the southwest down there it looks like it might be on a little bit of a decrease um, so conditions may become a little bit more favourable. Well, satellite imagery isn't so good around here. Uh, we've only got the still images from the NOAA floaters, but there you go. You can see it there on the visible imagery. Not too bad. Um, conditions near the center of the storm could be significant and damaging, particularly in the south and east, where the strongest winds are right now. There are no warnings in effect at this time, but that may change in the coming hours. Obviously, we'll be keeping you up to date with more updates as time goes on on this storm. Uh, hopefully, we're aiming towards every 12 hours. Um, but there is the system in the centre of the Mozambique Channel, not really seeing any effects on Madagascar, just the very edge of the cloud cover from the storm is just about reaching the western coast of that island, and then towards Mozambique we will probably be seeing effects in around a day. Uh, so this is the second tropical storm that's formed in 2017 so far, extremely quiet. Uh, we've now tied with 1991 though, at least for the next few days, but 1991 gets quite a few storms in the next few days. Uh, so 2017, if we don't get another storm in the next two days, uh, it will be the quietest start to a calendar year to this date, to February 15th, uh, since 1919. Two storms so far, obviously a long way to go this year, of course. 31 is the benchmark set by 1900, obviously when observations weren't so good. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com and its tracker at your service. You can also find us on YouTube, you're probably there right now, but if not, there it is. Uh, you can also find us on Facebook, at Force 13 on Twitter as well. Um, pretty much the same link for all of those, Force 13 all in text. You can add Fool13 on Skype, that's F O L O L 13 for Tropical Weather Chat, and add extension 9094 for Discord.